Hi everyone, I'm Hayley Toyne from Taste Lincolnshire. COVID-19 has brought with it some very specific challenges for the food supply chain in this strange and worrying time. We know that our food and drink producers are working harder than ever to feed the nation. For our largest growers and producers, there has been a 50% increase in food production over the past three weeks and a billion pounds worth of food has entered the supply chain. As a county responsible for growing and producing up to 30% of the UK's domestic food production, our agri-food industry in Lincolnshire carries a tremendous responsibility. And as well as the largest food producers, I know that many of our Taste Lincolnshire partners are also under immense pressure and many are facing the fight of their livelihoods. Knowing the type of businesses our partners run, I've collated some information that might be of help to you. If you own a pub that serves food or a restaurant in England and Scotland, you'll be able to operate a hot food takeaway to serve people staying at home without going through the usual planning process. The Ministry for Housing, Communities and Local Government will shortly legislate to bring forward a temporary permitted development right to allow for a change of use from A3 restaurant and A4 pub to A5 hot food takeaway. The intention is that once the legislation has come into force, um, a pub or restaurant will be able to notify their local authority that they are now operating as a takeaway without prior approval. Cash grants for retail, hospitality and leisure businesses in England are also coming into place with a cash grant of up to £25,000 per property. Businesses based in England in the retail, hospitality, leisure sector are eligible and this includes shops, restaurants, cafes, drinking establishments, hotels, guest and boarding premises and self-catering accommodation. You do not need to take any action. If you are eligible for the grant, you'll be contacted by your local authority. Local food and drink production is absolutely vital in our communities. Smaller or independent food shops are often providing a less crowded, better stocked shopping environment and are just as COVID-19 responsive as the multiples. The Association of Convenience Stores has some great practical advice for shops that can be applied to food and drink retailers too. Lots of retailers are looking at home delivery as an option to reach local customers that are self-isolating or unable to travel to the shop. This new guidance details what retailers should consider when starting a home delivery service. It covers the following areas, how to take an order, take payment, operate a collection service, data security, bag charges and age restricted products. The guidance explains what these regulations are and provides simple advice on conducting deliveries which best promotes good hygiene and limits the risk of passing on, passing on COVID-19 and other viruses when doing so. There are also practical guides on claiming grants and compensation, guiding on employment law and colleague support, and you can also download posters for your store on home delivery, hand washing and collections, etc. And very much on the ground and closer to home, the team at Visit Lincoln and Taste Lincolnshire will remain continuing to look at how we can support you. Our social media channels remain a vital way to communicate with consumers, shoppers, diners, your customers, and we'll be populating these with all of our partners' updates on trading, routes to market, and how best to connect with you. We'll be sharing any advice and tips we come across that may help your business at this time. For example, printing QR codes on takeout menus so that consumers don't have to handle them, they can simply scan to order. Or perhaps you can set up a subscription service for staple items that might be an answer to regulating an income stream. I know I've recently set up um, an account with a local producer for a uh, direct delivery every couple of weeks. These may be small things, but they still make a difference and they help your business to be someone's solution. Finally, I'd like to direct you to those uh, sector specific websites again. The Federation of Small Businesses is fsb.org.uk. The Association of Convenience Stores, where you can download those takeout guides, is um, acs.org.uk. The British Retail Consortium, brc.org.uk. And I'd urge you also to keep in touch with DEFRA via the Twitter feed which is at DEFRA Gov UK. Finally, I'd just like to say, please do keep in touch with us, uh, keep in touch with the team and stay safe.